Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at a free tweak in Cydia known as Message Customizer. And this by far is one of my favorite tweaks that has been released for the iOS 7 jailbreak. Because what it does is it allows you to change the look of your messages application on your iDevice. So as you can see here, the look of my conversation has just changed drastically. And by that I mean down to the options up here such as messages in contact, the color of that has changed from the standard black to lime green, which I customized, as well as a customized wallpaper right here behind my chat bubbles. And my chat bubbles are also different. I've changed the text of it with Bita font for those of you that are curious. But in reference to the message customizer tweak, I was able to change the wallpaper and the color of the chat bubbles. So to show you how to do this, we're going to go ahead and jump into my settings. And these are the options that you have for Message Customizer. So you can change the bubble color for SMS as well as the text color. However, because this is my iPod, I'm not able to showcase that. But I can showcase the iMessage color change. So right now, mine's is set to white. However, I can change it, for instance, to let's go with light blue. And I'm going to leave the text color black. And I can also change the color of the other person's chat bubble. And we're going to just play with yellow. And then I'm going to go back here. You can also adjust the opacity of the bubble as well as the width of the bubble. So I'm going to just knock it all the way up just to kind of show you how that will look. And then you can also turn on or off the options for bubble gradients, inverting the color of the bubble gradient, as well as changing the color of the app tint. And that's where the green came into play. So I'm going to just change this to let's go with red this time. And then how I got my background was with this option here. I chose wallpaper white overlay, which allowed me to use the wallpaper on my iDevice as the background within my messages app. But you also have the option to choose just kind of standard solid colors or you can choose a custom picture. Um, however, when you choose custom picture, it is in a special location where you will need iFile in order to add the picture that you want in there. But I'm just going to play this time with pink. I'm going to jump back out. And if you're wondering where the location for the custom wallpaper is, it'll tell you right here beneath that option to change the wallpaper. And you can also change your info text color from dark gray to any other color. Before I proceed to the rest of the options here, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how uh, these changes look. So you don't have to respring to see the changes, but what you do need to do is close the application from the multitask switcher and then jump back into it and you'll see that those changes have taken effect. So as you can see now, my background is pink. My chat bubbles are um, yellow and blue and the text inside the chat bubble is white and black. And also the information up here has changed from the lime green color that I had earlier to red. So I'm going to jump back into Message Customizer. Now, as far as the message tails, I'm going to show you how that looks. That's basically if I turn that on, close this out of the switcher and hop back into my messages app. The tail is going to be the piece that normally appears right here beside the bubble. So as you can see, these are now just solid circles. But I'm going to turn that option back on in settings or turn it off rather in settings. So now that it does hide the message tails, I'm going to jump back into the messages application. And these are the tails that it's speaking about. You'll notice now instead of it just being a circle, you have this kind of line and indicating whose chat bubble that is. So those are the options pretty much for customizing messages. Um, you can turn flat bubble edges off, show contact pictures in the list or show contact pictures in the chat. So that pretty much sums up everything. Hopefully this was an application that you all downloaded and are enjoying as well. So be sure to drop down any questions or comments in the comment section down below. Feel free to also at me on Twitter with your themes. Take a screenshot of the theme you created and at me on Twitter at Tech Me Out. The link for that can be found in the description box. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.